Hi, my name is Eshwa Imran. I'm the founder and the director of Miralingo. Uh, Miralingo is a multidisciplinary platform, a studio, founded a few years ago in 2017 in order to offer opportunities for artists to work together, to collaborate together, to create like uh, experimental or like immersive like neural experiences. In 2017, when I got the studio in Goodman, I was actually in uh, Block B, Level 3. And um, it was the first time I ever had a studio in my life. So I would say it's an amazing feeling to, to have like one of those uh, dreams or the goals that you had for yourself since you were a student come true. The one thing that I really enjoy about Goodman space, right, is that it kind of like reminds me of like a village. It's like a, a little kampong. You know? Sometimes I'll just be like hanging out outside, you know, with a chair on a chair, and then I'll just meet like others and like socialize and like just like kind of a share with each other of what works. Having a space here also opens up opportunities for collaborations. And one of the last collaborations that we did was with the the Goodman Community Farms at Cultivate Central. Where we painted a, a community mural. We organized a social mural. Uh, in December, where we invited volunteers to come and paint the walls uh, together with our artists. I've always believed that interdisciplinary collaborations are necessary in order to have new conceptions in the arts. So if you really want to create something new, there must be collaborations between people of various disciplines. Having a space definitely makes a huge difference in a creative's lives um, and in their practice because it gives you a space where you can experiment. The Goodman space has also been uh, an environment which I feel like uh, the placement managers, the officers, they are extremely understanding. They're more of like, um, like peers. You can just communicate with them if you need any support and stuff. Someone is over here and I'm just like showing them around the space. Uh, usually also let them know that like there's um, besides the restaurant, Alba, there's also a few interesting uh, studios where they could kind of like take up workshops. Like one of them is the, the Goodman uh, Ceramic Studio. People can make their own ceramic works. Uh, sometimes there's also theatre or dance performances that happens over here. It's usually posted through uh, social media or you can just when you're walking down you sometimes catch um, people gathered outside the studio taking like intervals and stuff. Did you guys know that there is an Instagram account just for the cats of Goodman? It is actually called Cats of Goodman and when you go to the Instagram account you'll be able to see all the, the cats that are inhabiting the space just hanging out. And one of the murals that my team has painted downstairs of the, the Goodman map, you would see two cats and one of the cats is actually wearing a security vest. That's because uh, that cat Chito used to always like hang out outside the security guard post and there's this one day where we saw him wear a security vest. So we decided to kind of integrate him into the mural design. It's all these little um, stories like inside stories that people in Goodman know, which kind of also makes that the environment that, like a small inside community of sorts. It's definitely a, a alternative space, I would say. Though Goodman Art Centre may not have a high visibility, I feel that it's a little gem with a lot of interesting activities, studios and uh, happenings around it. And I think the best way to find out more about it is just uh, searching online goodmanartcenter.sg.